Welcome back, America. Here with really one of my favorite people, David Schoen, civil rights and criminal defense attorney, former President Trump attorney. David Schoen, I want to get into this New York issue because it's hot and it's important as fast as we can right now. You've got a radical left-wing attorney general, in my view, who violated the rules of professional conduct in New York based on the way she campaigned. Prosecutors are only supposed to campaign or would-be prosecutors a certain way, not the way she did. You have a judge here, really a, a, a clown show. I've never seen a judge like this before. He's ruling on the papers. Donald Trump didn't even have an opportunity to argue his case, so the only thing there was, uh, was the penalty. They use a law that's never been used like this before. It's a preposterous law. They have to dig and dig and dig to find it. But here's my problem. After all that, in order to appeal, Donald Trump has to come up with half a billion dollars. Well, people don't have half a billion dollars sitting around. I don't care if you're Bezos or you're, you're Musk or whatever. You have your money invested in things. That's how you become a billionaire. And what the attorney general there is trying to do and what this judge is trying to do is divest Donald Trump of his most important properties and wealth. So even if he winds up winning on appeal, whether in New York or the Supreme Court under the Eighth Amendment and so forth, he can't get those properties back. What do you make of that? It's, it's absolutely outrageous. I think the American people, any reasonable person, believes he ought to have the right to appeal this. There are tremendous issues in this case. Taking it back a step, remember, this law, it's 6312, New York executive law, um, you don't even have the right to a jury trial. There's a case from 2012 that says so, um, People versus First American Corporation, and it says the reason you don't have the right to a jury trial is because this is supposed to be of equitable nature or regulatory nature. Damages are incidental to it. Well, I Half a billion dollars is an incidental, and he should have had the right to a jury trial. Remember also, and the judge addresses this in his opinion, even he acknowledges it, the definition of fraud here is different from anything we've ever seen anyplace else. There's no victim, there's no loss, there's no reliance on some representation to cause a loss. They admit all of that. Uh, and so it's outrageous that there would be damages assessed in any event. You know, in my opening statement, I talked about property rights, what James Madison said, and it's not just about material. Donald Trump spent his entire life building the skyline in New York, contributing to that community, creating tens of thousands of jobs, taxpayers, people with pensions and medical benefits. He brought wealth and prosperity to parts of the city that were destitute, that were just lying there. Politicians would come to him to get things fixed and done, whether it's an ice skating rink or some other blight that they had. He contributed mightily, mightily to New York, the environment of New York, the productivity, the rebirth of New York. And now they want to steal everything that he has. Let me ask you a question. What exactly has Letitia James contributed to New York? How many jobs has she created in New York? How many taxpayers has she created in New York? My bigger problem here at David Schoen is, where are all the lawyers in New York? Where's the bar in New York? They don't even need a complaint. They can act right away without this. Where are the judicial oversight committees in New York? Where are all the, the, the protections and the balances that are supposed to be in the justice system, the legal system in New York? Are they just blown out because it's Donald Trump? Yes, I think so. I mean, I think the criminal defense bar has been turned on its head by this. You have criminal defense lawyers cheering against Donald Trump, even though the rule of law and due process is being violated in one after another case here. Listen, you pointed it out earlier, and it's outrageous. Letitia James, attorney general, ran on a platform of getting Donald Trump, promising the people she would get Donald Trump. He's a private citizen who wasn't even under investigation at the time. We don't permit that kind of thing. In fact, I put in a call to a fellow who wrote the leading treatise on prosecutorial misconduct, and I asked him why he hasn't covered that kind of thing, running on a, cam a political elective office campaign on promising to go after, as a prosecutor or a judge, go after a particular citizen. And he said, it's absolutely right. He's going to cover it in the next one, and this never should have happened. We see the same thing with Alvin Bragg in the district attorney's office in New York, and it plays to people's worst instincts, but lawyers should be standing up and speaking out against this, no matter who the client is. Hey, Sean. Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.